everyone. Good morning. I am here to do another tag. Um, I saw this one on Lady Jane Books as well. I look at her channel like wrong the clock all the time. So she has a tag called the Weed and Goals tag and she it is by Rosie Talkshot. So I am going to attempt this tag. Let's dive in. So the first question is, do you set reading goals? Why or why not? So can I say I used to set reading goals and I felt, I feel like, you know, I was just the best reader in the world. So I used to set my reading goals really high. I would not say how high, but it's just not realistic. And it did not work out in the past. It didn't work out, but I wanted to achieve reading a certain amount of books. To me now, it does not make sense. Why would I want to achieve reading a certain amount of books? Isn't the goal to just read? The next question, do you set, no, are, they, are your goals things you absolutely aim to complete or more general themes you want to focus on? My, my, my goals are not themes I want to complete, but actually books in general that I want to complete, you know, like a certain amount of books, because sometimes when I used to set reading goals, I used to, at, the, at those moments, I think that I was not reading enough, so... I, I think that if I set a goal and I see how it progresses and I'm I'm way back I would I would I would I would focus more, like more on reading but it, it didn't work out it didn't work out it was just added pressure and stress to know that you are not reach, reaching your reading goal so you want to rush read it's like oh no it was just like too much emphasis was being placed on the reading goal so when in the year do you set new goals so i set my goals at the beginning of the year for reading not necessarily like a certain amount of books so like this year i've set 50 books that i want to read and i think i would accomplish that because as much as i don't like you know using audiobooks i have to use audiobooks because one it is more accessible for me books here are like 150 175 225 275 and up in tt dollars and you know, sometimes you might think you want to buy a book and you want to read it, but then you end up not liking it. Audio books, I can do what I have to do because I teach, so I can do what I have I have to do, and I can listen to audio books at random times on a speaker, so I hear it whatever I'm doing. Audio books is more accessible for me, as I said, and it's a cheaper way. And if I really love, love, love the book, I definitely would get that book so for example right now i'm reading the night circus i love that book and i'm definitely gonna spend the money for it to buy it do you have long-standing goals that you aim for every year if yes what are the long-standing goals are to i would say just to get through as many books as i can without any added pressure or stress to feel that i have to get through these amount of books by December or by you know October so I normally set my I set my reading goals for December what type of goal has been most successful by whatever metric you used or you chose in the past the only type of goal that has been successful is me getting through books via audio you know audio based books that is the only type of goal that has been successful that i want to read as many books as i can and when i use the audiobook method i have been able to get through a lot of books so the books that i love i would buy the books that i didn't like that much i would not buy it to add to my to my to my library collection and with the books i have bought i there's a chance you know that if I miss something on audio, I would sit and I would really read that book again. Does that make sense? Next question. What type of goal has not gone to plan what went wrong? If the goal of setting to read 100 books per year have not gone to plan, like literally read when I did not know that, when I did not use audiobooks, like how it is even possible having a life of a teacher, being creative, being adventurous, wow, you I'm not sure how people do it. I would love to know how they sit and get time to read a hundred books per year. That is a lot of books. I could read a hundred um, children's book in a year, I think. You know, those small, nice little illustrated ones. I think I can do that, but to read novels, no. Do you change a goal based on how 
the last reading year has gone yes i do so as i said it's like a whole rep it, this is like repetitive so like i said it, it didn't work out when i tried to read 100 physical books so i switched to audiobooks and i did not get 100 books done either but i got a lot more done than if i had i read physical books do you track your reading goals absolutely i track my reading goals and i have the i have i bought a clockwork reader journal by a clockwork reader she's on youtube and i absolutely love that journal i would put it up here love that journal it caters to your every single needs has any of this changed a lot over the course of your reading life a lot has changed over my reading life the type of books that i love the type of books that i would choose at a certain point in time or during a year everything influences the type of books that i read so you would find that there are certain books i wouldn't read because of the amount of you know domestic violence in it or i no longer read horror books i can't i agree so yeah so that's it for this tag i want to thank you for being here with me today for six minutes talking about my reading goals